Hey babies, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can read by the title, we are going to be doing a first impression slash prom tutorial on this look right here. I feel like this look is definitely the must for prom. I'm actually going to put this snow strip on my nose just because I, um, I'm feeling like a little, you know, uh, so well. This is drying. I'm going to do this eye. And um, the nose strips that I get are from Bior or Bior, Bior from Walmart. They're like the best nose strips I think there is. And this is like the normal ones because they do have um, charcoal ones. But this is the normal ones. We are doing a first impressions. I wanted to try this palette out on camera with you guys. Like I said, I already did this eye off camera. And to be honest, I was kind of scared because I don't know how exactly the pigment is in this palette it is my first time trying it and so far girl these freaking eyeshadow i don't know what the heck is going on with bh but you are underrated boo because this eyeshadow palette is from bh cosmetics it's the ultimate matte 42 color shadow palette and of course this is how it looks like look at this palette guys it's so beautiful this is a matte 42 matte shadows so there's no shimmers they do have a shimmer one but honestly i'm more of a matte girl and for shimmer i just kind of like always add glitter as you guys can see so i actually purchased this with my daisy marquez um eyeshadow palette and i believe this was 20 dollars. they always have bomb ass sales so if you like this palette go check it out right now it might be like for like 14 bucks like girl do not miss out on bh please all right so we're gonna get started and of course we're gonna start priming our lid with the tarte shape concealer and now this tarte shape concealer is a little pricey but to be honest i like the consistency and like the tackiness it gives my like eye to prep for like the eyeshadow uh another good um concealer for like your eyelids would be i tried the elf one the 16 camo one and i don't know like I guess it's just kind of like an alternative to this if you don't want to spend that much money on this concealer. So, yes. Alright, so we're going to get started. We're going to prep our eye. And I'm going to be going with this um, kind of like a really warm orange. And this is going to be the first color. And I'm going to apply it with a Jaclyn Hill JH32 brush. A very fluffy brush just to get everywhere. And now I can't find my little mirror found it so we're going to be applying it everywhere from the outer corner to the inner corner we're gonna be grabbing this like more warm um color right up here and this one's kind of more like an orange color but i wanted to bring some like warmth and not have it like way too dark uh like of an eye look so this one's gonna help you bring like a little warmth to the look this color right here is actually really pigmented so i'm going to be grabbing this with just a fluffy brush this one doesn't have a name i think this is from like one of their collections go back in with the first color and then i'm going to just blend out that harsh edge like about this palette to be honest is that it doesn't have like a dark brown now between this brown and this brown they kind of look the same i think this one's a little darker but i went in with this one right here and this one is like more of like a i guess like a poopy brown but, but yeah this color um palette doesn't have like a dark brown which kind of sucks it does have a black and the black is actually really pigmented but i'm gonna be grabbing that brown and i'm gonna be grabbing it with a f m506 brush and i'm just adding it with like a little tiny brush like this and adding it from the outer corner to the inner corner and really circular motions and slowly building it up you don't want to add too much like right away just because it might be hard to uh blend afterwards to apply this on to set the concealer and get ready for glitter so for glitter i had three options i wasn't too sure what i wanted to do but i feel like i always use the um, 
where is it the steel glitters so i switched it up so i'm gonna put like for a, like a tacky consistency i'm gonna be using the heavy metals by urban decay and this one is in midnight cowboy now this is gonna be like my glitter glue i guess you can say and then for my loose glitter i'm gonna be using my jcat beauty uh sparkling powder it doesn't have a name but this is how it looks like so I'm going to apply these on where I cut the crease and you guys will just see. I'm going to be using, oh I have the newer products. Give me a sec. So I went to TJ Maxx and I got some stuff. Um, I guess this could, this could be like a little like TJ Maxx haul real quick. I got this Pro Fusion Pro Pigment Palette, and this is how it looks like. Look how beautiful this is. The reason why I didn't grab the pink and purples from that palette for the BH palette is because I want to play with this colors from for, from I'm gonna say from Physicians Formula from Pro Fusion. I said Pro Fusion, right? So then the next thing we got is the Elf water droplet balm hydrating balm to water moisturizer so this is going to be a moisturizer for today i'm excited to use this and i got this for $3.99 at tj maxx and i got the palette for $6.99 at tj maxx as well and then i got the anastasia berry hairs like Beverly Hills, Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade Strip. If you guys are my OG followers, this is my favorite nude, and this was eight dollars, which in online they're twenty dollars. So. so then the last things we got were some glitters from Stila. I cannot believe I found these at TJ Maxx, and these are eight dollars each. The bigger one was nine dollar, and the smaller one was seven dollars. So I got the shade Kitten Karma, which. I feel like is a necessary color. It's like that really good rose pink color. This is like the jumbo one. And then I got the color next to next to note. It's like a pink glitter. I'm excited to put this on the test. Look at that. So pretty. And then I got the color and enchantress. Something like that. You guys know I suck, suck at pronouncing stuff. It's like a baby pink glitter. So yeah, that's my little haul, and I'm gonna, you know, I should have put the glitter on, but I wanted to do the gl gold glitter. So, I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Hyd bom hydrating balm. I just apply it all over my face for some hydrating. Oh, it's a balm. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my god, it feels super hydrating, and like it says, it definitely is like a water-based um moisturizer which is great for my oily skin girls like myself i do have oily skin and i always say use a water moisturizer or like a consistency that's not lotion because you will put like more oil on top of oil but this is how like the balm looks like and it's like the putty mask like it literally reminds me of like the putty mask but it definitely is super hydrating like as soon as i put it on boom girl this was hydrating as anything I'm actually going to do my face off camera with my foundation just because um they're not newer products and this video i want it to be based for my newer products but i'll be right back so my foundation is on and that is pretty much it we are going to be trying the Fl uh, flower beauty light illusion full coverage concealer weightless feel crease proof and i got the shade fair which i believe is the lightest shade and i don't think their shade ranges were as good as like you know they should be but i did get this actually on clearance which is kind of weird but i went to walmart and this was four dollars i think originally it's like nine dollars so i had to snatch it and I actually heard like Casey Holmes rip about it, like she loved it, so I'm excited. This is how it looks like. I love the packaging. Of course, it's white and gold. Ugh, I love white and gold packaging. Like it's so like pleasing. I don't know why, but we're gonna apply some on and hopefully this actually matches. I'm kind of scared. I don't know. Ooh. Oh, that coverage. I feel like the undertone is like kind of gray. 
What do you guys think? What are you thinking? Let me zoom you guys in a tiny bit. So you guys can see what I'm seeing. I'm actually like pale. And to be honest, I don't think this should be the lightest shade. Doesn't feel like I'm wearing nothing under my under eyes. Wow. It blended out super fast. Which I love. It is a little highlighting to my under eye. Just because you guys know like I love being like super highlighted. But this shade is just pissing me off how like. It's really not as light. I don't know. Maybe on camera it looks lighter, but in person, come on, come on, no. So yeah, it is twelve dollars, and there is only two, four, six shades on their range. This is on Ulta Beauty's website, and yeah, this is the shade Fair, right? Yeah, Fair. It is the lightest shade. Like the coverage, I think it's super, super like creamy to the eye. Kind of gives it like a little um. I don't want to say dewy look to the under eye, but it's not matte and it's not drying. Um, so if you have like a dry mm. under eye, I feel like this concealer would be perfect for you. Like really, really good. Oh my God, if you guys hear that, my neighbor is literally mowing his lawn. What are you doing? Why are you being so rude? Anyways, we're going to be setting it. And for setting powder, I actually have a new one and I'm going to put it on the camera. I'm going to put this on the test. On camera with you guys i actually have tried this just because i was so excited this is a laura mercier translucent powder in the color translucent and i'm actually excited and um spoiler alert, i actually really like it at first i was kind of like well why is it like a yellow tone like you guys can see it's like a yellow tint but it's still translucent and it does not have flashback which is definitely a plus start with the waterline my whole face is done i am kind of baking underneath so that's why it kind of looks more whiter but for our under eyes what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply the colors that i applied to my transition and then i'm going to really pop in the dark brown because i want it to be really smoky so you guys will just see and the color i mean the brush that i applied to be really smoky it's like a very very like angled flat brush and this one is like my favorite to just really pop in the color in my waterline I'm gonna use my highlighter and it's the LA color strobing powder in the shade champagne I actually did like a tutorial with like so, not even tutorial. I think it was like a just a weekend that I did my makeup and I use this as my inner corner highlight and I got like a lot of people asking me what it was and it's this one right here. I'll show you guys the packaging. It's absolutely stunning in the inner corner and like my glow within. So I'm going to wet the brush like always. for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this first impression slash prom tutorial i hope you guys are excited from prom videos that are coming up shortly i really had so much fun filming this look i think it's absolutely like a must go like a must to go prom look that being said i hope you guys enjoyed and of course i will catch you guys on my next one bye babes